What's going on Quotation Nation? Quote by Lee coming at you with another Pokemon Sun and Moon themed teams episode. Today we are bringing a grass team. We are bringing Decidueye, Tapu Bulu, uh, da da da, the steel thing. Dis oh man, I cannot think of its name. Um, we'll get back to it. Shinodic, Ludicolo, and Breloom. Man, what the heck is that thing's name? It's an anchor. It's a grass ghost type. It has a weird name, and I can't remember. But if you guys are excited for this episode, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button down below. Um, hopefully we can find a match. Yesterday, um, when we were recording the fairy uh, battle, we couldn't find anybody to challenge us in raiding battle. So hopefully we can, we can get somebody and just Get a good video out for you guys. Grass is an okay typing. I think it's actually a pretty good typing because a lot of mons are bringing EQ um, for those Arcanines and for Tapu Coco and stuff like that. So I think Grass has pretty good potential here. Um, we have two. Uh, we have a lot of poison weaknesses though. That's the problem. We have two Grass Fairy types. And it looks like we're not going to be able to find a match. We might just have to go into the normal battles again. Like, this is ridiculous. Why is it so hard to find a raiding battle? It's like every time I start recording, I can't find a battle. And it's a little bit ridiculous. Just a little bit. What the heck is this anchor's name, though? Delmize. I knew it started with a D. We got Delmize on board and on deck. Um, so we couldn't find a battle. We're going to go into free battle instead. Because I ain't trying to deal with that. Go into the double battles. Uh, special Pokemon banned. We're not trying to go up against an entire team of legendaries. Just going to go ahead. So there's the team again. Decidueye, Tapu Bulu, Delmize, Shinodic, Breloom, and Ludicolo. And we're hopefully going to get three battles in. We're, I mean, we've already been recording for two minutes. This is taking forever. Let's find a match. Let's go. Let us tomato. So, guys, I've started work at the Home Depot. And it's not that great. Hey, we found someone from Japan. Shizuoka. I'm guessing that's a city in Japan. They are bringing a Machamp. A Charizard. A Landorus. A Tapu... Lele, a Thunderous Therian, and a Whimsicott. Pretty powerful team. Um, I need the Moonblast for that Machamp if he brings it. Looking at my team, I don't know if he'd bring Machamp. Um, Delmize is okay here. That Charizard is really the biggest problem. Um, I don't know if we have anything to touch. Uh, what moves do we have on? Do we have Rock Slide or did we... No, we have Super Power. Mm. How are we going to take out this Charizard? I think he's leading Charizard. I mean, we have Scald, I guess. We're going to lead Ludicolo. Um, Decidueye. I'm gonna bring Tapu Bulu, and I'm gonna bring Delmize. This is a tough match. Honestly, Charizard completely bodies us. Fire flying type, oh man. This is not gonna be good. I should have Stone Edge or Rock Slide on my Tapu Bulu instead of Super Power, but Super Power is coming clutch um, against like Snorlax and other Porygon uh, tubes and stuff like that. He's gonna lead Whimsicott Thunderous. Whimsicott is honestly gonna be annoying, but I'm going to I'm gonna protect Ludi Colo, predicting uh, some shenanigans there, and. I think I'm gonna just U-turn the Whimsicott. The Situi doesn't do much. He's gonna withdraw Thunder, so come find me. Into Tapu Lele. 
And that's actually perfect, because now we can go into blue and get the grass and see it up. We're gonna protect Ludicolo. He's got a Tailwind, which is a little unfortunate. Very unfortunate, actually. I thought that Prankster doesn't work with uh, this terrain. That's weird. Uh, we'll go into top of Bulu, though. Get rid of the Psychic Surge. So he is going to be faster than us on all fronts, but um, we do have the advantage here. Well, slight advantage. We're gonna heal him up, unfortunately, with the grassy terrain. But we can go for an Ice Beam now, onto that uh, Whimsicott. I don't know if it'll quite be enough. And... Let's see, I think we just go straight up for the Blue Doom. Onto the Tapu, Tapu Lele. If he wants to switch out again, then he's free to. I don't. I don't really care. He's gonna endeavor. Ooh, that's a very nice play. And he's gonna skill swap to set up the psychic surge. Ooh, that's nice. That's a good play. Um, now this might not knock out the uh, top of Lele. We're gonna be able to kill the Whimsicott, though. Let's see how much this does. I mean, we're adamant, and that's with that. So this is still gonna do a whole lot of damage. Come on, let's see. That's actually really cool. Skill swap with Tailwind. I actually like that. That's really cool. It is going to be enough to knock out Tapu Lele. He is not invested in defenses. And he is down to two Pokemon. It's Thunderous. And probably the Landorus, honestly. I would, I could see him going for an Intimidate. Uh, especially since I have Bulu. Oh, he does have the Charizard. Okay. Um, this turn, I'm going to... I'm going to Skull Charizard, and I'm actually going to Protect Hulu. It is going to be a Charizard Y. I expect a Heat Wave to come out, um, so keeping Hulu around is important. Thunderbolt should it knock us out. It's uh, neutral damage. A heat wave though. I am worried about a heat wave. Yeah, in the sun. Ah, that's so unfortunate. Man, that's too bad. Um, we can go into Delmize. Let's go into Delmize. Like I said, this thing, this Charizard, man. Charizard really messes up our team. Uh, we're gonna get one shot this turn. We needed that Booty Colo to stay alive. Um, we go for Shadow Claw, and I guess we can go for Horn Leech onto Thunder. It's, I mean, it, it's over. Charizard, HP Fire. Or HP Ice. Probably HP Ice. But even with Yaka Berry, um, this is gonna knock us out. So that is gonna be GG. So anybody who brings like a Charizard Y is completely gonna body us. Tailwind is gonna peter out. Um, but Decidueye. Decidueye goes down here. Man, we had such a good, like, I don't know. We had a good chance. We'll go for the Sucker Punch. I need a Mega Crit. 
And that's gonna do about 30% damage. This is gonna do over 50%. Flamethrower gonna come through and pick up the KO. So that is game one. Grass is honestly probably one of the worst typings to go for all one typing. Um, and there's definitely better grass mons. Uh, I didn't have my... I traded away on GTS. I was trying to fill out my Pokédex. So I traded away my actual good Venusaur, which I probably shouldn't have done. And I was I was debating between putting Ludicolo or Lilligant on this team. Um, I should have kept Lilligant and Ludicolo just in case you know we go up against Pelipper uh, with the rain. We can bring Ludicolo if we go against Charizard or uh, Nine Tails or Torkoal. We can go ahead and bring the Lilligant. Um, so we should have probably done that. But that's okay. We're gonna lose the first one. Hopefully we can get the second one. See, we have Theo Drede from France. That's a very strange name. He is bringing the Roselia, the, uh, the Porygon Z, the Age Slash, the Rotom Wash, Frostless, level 45, so I don't think he's going to bring that, and the Komo'o. Um, I don't see... Let's see, so... Roselia is Poison Grass. So we need to take care of that. I think that the Decidui Ludicolo lead is still pretty good. Um, I think Bulu does well here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna bring Greyloom. It doesn't look like he's gonna be doing any earthquaking or anything like that. So I'm gonna bring Shinodic. Um, we have the Strength Sap, which we can use on the Age Slash to lower the attack. Um, and we resist the Earthquake as well if he has it. Plus, we have the Poison, uh, or the Moonblast for that, uh, Como -O if he decides to win that. So, all Grass. I believe my, uh, my Decidui is a max. Speed, max attack, uh, jolly nature. And so, oh man, Leaf Blade is gonna hurt. And then Ice Beam is gonna do a good amount to this Ros uh, Rosary. The Sidruai, I think, is gonna be the fastest thing. It is gonna be the fastest thing. Leaf Blade. There we go! Super effective, getting that crit. Leaf Blade has a 30% crit rate, I think, or it's like a 20%. Ice Beam coming out from Moody Colo. It's gonna do about 75%. Rosary trying to set up the toxic spikes. I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog. So that's a, that was a perfect turn for us. Um, he is gonna go, in, go out into Age Slash, which we will outspeed. Um, and we can actually go for the Spirit Shackle onto it, and we can just Ice Beam again onto the Rosary. If he wants to go for a King Shield, he can. Um, I think he's probably going to try to set up a Substitute or just go straight up. He is actually going to King Shield. So that's a good play on his part. Um, Spirit Shackle is not going to work. Ice Beam is going to knock out the Rose Raid though. And so now we're up 42. Um, he's probably going to just straight up go for... If I was him, I'd go straight up for the, um, the Shadow Ball to try to knock out the Decidueye. I think it's worth doubling up into. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to double into the Age Slash uh, with a Skull. Because I really want to knock this thing out. He could go Shadow Sneak. I think that would be a, a mistake for him to go Shadow Sneak, though. And I think with Porygon Z, he's probably going to go for a Thunder Wave onto Ruby Colo or try attack. So you see the Spirit Shackle. It's 
going to do about 65%. He has the berries a lot. He's got the citrus berries. If we can get a scald burn, then we'll be in a very good situation though. Burn, 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 burn. We don't get the burn. He's going to be able to ice beam onto the Sigui. It's not going to be enough to knock us out. He's going to get the freeze though. That 10%. Are you kidding me? Wow. He's going to knife slash. He's going to double into the Decidueye, so I guess it didn't really matter. But that's insane that he hits the freeze. Man. All right, so we go into Breloom here to combat this Porygon Z. We're going to get poisoned, um, unfortunately. Not much we can do about that. And we're just gonna go for a Drain Punch onto Porygon Z. Um, I'm gonna Scald onto the Age of Slash in case he doesn't go for a King Shield. He's probably gonna go for a King Shield though. But we'll see. Yep, he is gonna go for King Shield. Which it, it's fine, uh, completely fine. He doesn't have leftovers or anything. We'll get him on the next turn. Breloom might outspeed. We're actually not gonna outspeed. Oh no. Oh no, this is the uh, the normal, the breakneck flip. Okay, is that what it's called? Oh, he's gonna Z conversion actually. Change into a ghost type. That's oh man. Nice play, dude. That's actually a fantastic play. That's really cool. That's cool. I'm gonna leech seed. And scald. That's a really cool play. Turning into a ghost type. Um, looks like he's gonna go for Shadow Seed just to get as much damage off as possible. Um, probably onto the Breloom. Actually onto the Ludicolo, I'm actually surprised by that. Um, and he's gonna take the Rocky Helmet damage. Oh, he's faster than us? Or is it a speed type Ludicolo? I thought that we were faster. Alright, well, it's a 2v1 situation now. I think we should be pretty good to, to knock this thing out. Let's see, he's got Psychic Conversion, probably Thunderbolt, and Tri Attack. Wow, I really didn't. We're gonna go for a Spore, and we're gonna go for a Giga Drain. He's gonna Ice Beam. We can live that though. We're bulky. We're bulky. There we go. We're gonna Giga Drain. I cannot miss this score. I need to hit this score. We're gonna hit the score. Thank you. We got lefties. We'll take poison damage, but let's see. Is it worth going for? Trying to think what's worth. Going for a strength sap or a moon blast? I think moon blast. I think we can knock him out. Uh, let's see, what's Giga Drain's base power? Base power is 75, Scald is base 80, so Scald is stronger. We'll see that he's still asleep. Scald should do about 40%. Pretty good damage. We're gonna Moon Blast. That is gonna bring him down into range, and we get the special attack drop, which is fantastic in case he wakes up this turn and goes for his attack on the Rudy Kobo. Poison will bring us down to 13. And I think that is game. He's either gonna forfeit or I'm going to Strength Sap just in case, um, and we're just going to go for a Giga Drain for that last bit of damage. 
gonna be fast asleep, so that is going to be gained. So we are one and one. We have to go for another battle, even though this uh, this video is getting a little long. But that's just because we had the long intro and it took us a while to find the map. So we'll get one more battle in this video. Wow, that was perfect. There we go. 2-0. Theo Theodrede. Or the Theodore J. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, man. You're from France. I took French in high school, by the way. But I can't remember a lick of it, so. No, we don't want to save that. Yes, we don't want to save that. My hair, I did I decided not to do my hair today. So it's just down and it keeps getting in my eyes, so if I have to fling it over like that, that's why. We're gonna continue battling. Let's get some dope music. I love the Lusamine music, so we're gonna do Lusamine 1 on this next battle. I challenge you to do it, do it, do it. Oh, we got Muhammad from France. Another person from France. That's actually kind of cool. He is bringing the Beware, the Toxapex, the Mimikyu, the Rotom Heat, which is for sure gonna come, the Garchomp, and Gosh darn, Minior. I think Minior, Rotom Heat are for sure coming. Garchomp, probably not, just because we resist Earthquake. Um, and we have two immunities to Dragon. Um, Mimikyu, I think, would want to come. Possibly the Beware. I don't think he wants to bring the Toxic X, though. So I'm gonna lead Bulu. Um, and I'm going to lead... Let's see, what do we have that hits that Rotom? I'm gonna in, uh, bring Decidueye. Delmise just doesn't do good. I mean, actually Delmise could be good for the Mimikyu. We'll bring Delmise. Oh man. If we're gonna... Nah, if we have Decidueye. We're gonna have Breloom. Um, Ludicolo, actually we might want to lead Ludicolo, bring Breloom, Ludicolo because of Scald onto Rotom Heat. Yo, that loosening music is just so good, I love this music guys. He's insanely good. Alright. So Muhammad is gonna lead a Rotom Minior, which is good. It's actually good. Oh, he's got shiny Minior! That's the best shiny in the game! Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I love shiny Minior. Absolute fire. So two love take users. We are going to see. Okay. Um I'm gonna protect Bulu. Scald Rotom Heat. Shelf Smash maybe from the Minior. It's gonna overheat onto Bulu, so that was a great protect. We're gonna Scald. It's gonna do almost 100%. That was like 94%. He is going to Shell Smash us. See if he's White Herb or if he is Focus at. So he is White Herb. Okay. So no Focus Ash. That's good to know. And. We're going to go Bloom Doom onto the Mini Orb. Scald onto the Rotom. Acrobatic is gonna hurt like a banshee. It's gonna one shot. We should have known that. I, we should have protected. Um, Overheat is probably gonna knock us out. Too. Yeah, that's gonna be game. <laughs> this uh, this Minior is gonna sweep. So Minior completely bodies our team. We do have Sucker Punch, we can uh, knock out this Rotom with a Sucker Punch. Um, Minior though, what's Minior gonna do? 
Bomb is gonna be stronger. I'm gonna sucker punch the, the Rotom. I think that's the play to make. And let's hope he went for the acrobatics on the Decidueye instead. He did go on to the Decidueye. So we're, he's gonna knock out Decidueye, but we're gonna get a Seed Bomb off. It's gonna be huge. That is gonna one shot because we're Light Orb in the grassy terrain. Now let's hope we can take out the rest of his team though. This is gonna be a challenge. Um, this is absolutely gonna be terrifying. He's gonna have the Garchomp. Shiny as well. And he's gonna have the Mimikyu. So Mimikyu is also shiny. This guy's got all shiny. See, he's a shiny hunter. Um, I guess Drain Punch. Actually, uh, I have to Seed Bomb, I think. I think I have to Seed Bomb. Even though it is resisted. Um, actually, it's neutral because he is Ground Dragon. But it looks like this is going to be the end of Breloom. Um, he might have Fire Fang. He's probably rocking Draco Meteor or Outrage though. There's the Outrage. That's going to knock us out. So with a crit, crit didn't matter. I think uh, we're pretty frail. So Grass Pokemon are not the best Pokemon to bring to VGC. If you bring a whole team, it's not great. But we had fun making this video, bringing all grass Pokemon. If you have any other Pokemon you'd like to see us do in the future, go ahead and let me know by hitting uh, the comment and typing up, you know, da -da 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 -da, type it up and whatnot. Um, but I, I think that is it. Let's see, let's go. Um, no, we don't want to save video. How long have we been recording? Do we have time for another one? Uh, 27 minutes. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm going to get the heck out of here. As always, guys, if you're not hydrating, you're dehydrated. Cool. Bye, Lee. What you thinking, damn, what is this? That's us. Make a speaker's band when it hits like what? Give it some jams with that west side stuff. Everybody hands in the air straight up. Put them to the sky so high now jump. Jay is something crazy when that bass line bump. We just getting started but that beat gon' cut. We just wanna party something nice, so what? Come on everybody, put the drink down, bounce. Pull up with the hottie, get a fink down.